this, the brand new Harley Davidson 2023 Fast Johnny. On the street glide, we have the roll glide in the shop, which we're gonna go to the back, we're gonna yep. show them that. Then we'll talk about the Low Rider ST in a few as well. Yep, you got but, those coming now. Yeah, but <laughs> guys, you really need to see this in person. Like, I know a lot of you guys were really into the paint job. Um, it's, it's, it's breathtaking in person, honestly. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm not a big, huge blue guy, but this is nice. It's, it's a nice, it's like an ocean blue. It's like, Punta Cana blue. There you go. That's what it there is. There you go. It's like, <laughs> it's like Punta Cana beach blue. Uh, that, that's what it is. Port sparkle to it. It does. Um, and if you guys are wondering, you might be saying, hey, this bike does kind of look similar. Obviously, yes, hence it's a street glide, but this is essentially an ST. So you're gonna have the bronze wheels, uh, you're gonna have the 117, you're gonna have those bronze hints right there on the rockers on top. Um, the short bags in the back, of course, um, and that uh, ST light that we have on all the STs. So essentially, it's an ST with a paint job. Um, now this paint job is gonna run you around three thousand dollars, so three thousand dollars on top of let's say if you were just getting a regular ST. Um, but let me tell you, it is worth it. It's beautiful. We'll go over all the details real quick in uh, step by step. But um, one of my favorite parts on it, which uh, some of my close friends already told me that they don't like it, it's just it's the paint on the side, the hog, the mascot. It's it's really cool. I think I think it, it was an awesome idea to put them to add it on. I think it's great. <laughs> Huh? I think it's great. It's great, right? Yeah. It, it adds character. It's 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 in the Harley DNA. I mean, it's it's the hog. You know, it's the hog on the hog. Literally. You roll that. You're gonna have that barn badge on this side. Looks really nice with that white stripe uh, paint going on the side right there. I really like the fact that they put the Harley Davidson um, name going down the tank as well with the white stripes going on the tank. And then obviously the side of the bag right here looks really really nice and clean. And then the rear fender is just beautiful. So you're gonna have that enthusiast collection with the barn shield in the back. Um, it, it just, I don't know, I feel like it just adds a bit of class to it. It looks more prestige, it looks expensive, it looks it, it looks like, a, like an expensive part. <laughs> it's a good spot, because I was afraid they were gonna put it in the tank, so I think putting it on the fender is definitely smart. Yeah, it's really good. I, I'm, I'm really happy with, with, with what they did with this. If you guys saw that previous video that I posted a few days ago, we spoke about the Enthusiast Collection, we spoke about the Icon Collection. Talking about the Icon Collection, will you guys be receiving any of those bikes? Yeah, so we are very fortunate enough that we got word that we are getting one of each, Ooh, which is big. That's um, big. Almost every dealer is getting about one. We've got a call from our district manager, so if you are in the market for it, Highway King is on its way and we're getting one of each. Those are super, super limited, yeah. worldwide. Um, <laughs> But th this one here, man, it's just, I keep looking at it and I keep seeing little little things here and there. So there's the R you were talking about yep. in the end right there. The trademark, that's what Yeah, that's so you trademark. see right there, you see it on the front fender as well. So right in the front fender, you're gonna have that Harley Davidson going down the front fender as well with the white striping, looking really nice. Um, we'll give you guys a nice little close up of the hog again because I, yeah. I really like the hog. <laughs> it's really, really it's cool. cool. I like um, the white accent though because it, I think it breaks up the blue a little bit. Um, yeah. You know, so it's not all just blue. That white just gives that nice big pop. Yeah. Um, being that that it is an enthusiast collection, I don't know. May, maybe they could have just maybe done a few more different things to the bike, yeah. not just a paint job. Because if you think about enthusiast, yes, you, you don't you don't just want to think about paint. And yes, it's already on the ST, which is the ST is like an upgrade from the special. Or the standard models, um, more of a performance-driven type of uh, bike. But um, I think about enthusiasts. I think about something a little bit more, a bit yeah. more special. Yes, like I said, I'm not taking anything away from the paint. Because the paint looks beautiful. I I absolutely love it. Um, but I think they, they, they could have just added a few more things. Especially not being numbered. I was shocked that it wasn't numbered. And it's not numbered. Yeah. It's not numbered. I was surprised. The Diablo was numbered, and that was an enthusiast. Well, no, the Diablo was an icon. Oh, icon. Yeah. Right. So all icons sense, are. Yeah. are uh, but I was shocked, number. you know, they, they said they're only making 2,000 of them. Well, what number is it? <laughs> so they're only 2,000? Yes, 2,000. So I'm surprised they didn't number them. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. I don't know, sometimes I think the, the, the numbers thing is like a little cliche as well. It's like a, uh, it's like, <laughs> how special is this bike that it needs to be numbered? True, you, true. You know, sometimes it's like a little, do we got a number? But <laughs> I, I see what you're saying. 
Um, I'm about 5'7", uh, guys, so I'm almost able to flat foot this bike. Um, comes with the taller suspension on the ST models, if you guys didn't know. The suspension on the ST models is way different from the special models. So this is going to be uh, the suspension that comes on your uh, Road King. A little taller, um, so it's going to fit really nice and feel a little better. Um, give you a little bit more ground clearance for those of you guys who want to take this into the twisties. Ride this bike a bit more aggressive. Um, besides that, it is a street glide. You guys have seen a ton of street glide reviews, so we're not going to go into depth of what it is. I just kind of want to show you guys the paint, how beautiful it is, my opinion on it. I think it's awesome. I really think it's really cool what the company is doing. Coming out, trickling these things out throughout the year. Um, moving the way up to uh, July for the homecoming. So it's, it's been a big surprising year so far. I mean, yep. we found about the, the brand new remodeled CVO yep. uh, Road Ladder Street Life. Yep. We got these, we have the icons. Yeah, not what we expected this year. I thought with the 120, that was great, big launch, we got the breakout, and then all of a sudden they keep breakout. dropping more and more. I'm like, what else, the Road Glide 3? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's been a good year if you yeah, think about it. Stuff. A lot of good a lot stuff. Of good stuff. Um, what, what, what do you think about the paint job so far? I love the paint job. My only thing was they could have thrown on the lap wheels, but I know it's ST and that's its icon, so that's why they did it. You're, you're not too crazy about the bronze? On this, no. On the black and the white sand, yeah, all day. This, okay. I think, needed those black wheels, but... Imagine if it would have had the match of blue wheels, though. Ooh. Ooh. You're asking too much, though. What? Or, you With know... With the white lettering on the tire? <laughs> You see, enthusiasts think about something like that. Too. Or you would think that. because this was an enthusiast, they would have put the LEDs on it. No, we put the turn <laughs> signals on again. <laughs> so didn't you, come with docking hardware. We did it yesterday. Okay, so so you guys, you guys added that here and did it. have to so docking hardware, the LED turn signals in the front and the back. Yep, it was um, missing it. So, like I said, they did receive a road glide. We're gonna go, we'll step at the back and we'll show you guys that one as well. But that was sold yesterday the minute it hit yeah, the Yeah, so hit Instagram within 10, 15 minutes. I got a phone call. The guy came down, traded in his road glide. Um, Which was black and red. Black and, and, red. Yeah. and he just did factory 47s and he's like, I need those on this bike. So that's why it's in service already. And uh, we'll swap those out for him. Super, but, super nice guy, super yeah. local guy. Shout out to you, man. Yep. Um, then we got this one. Now let's talk about the ST, the, the Lowrider ST. So Lowrider ST launched with this. Um, unfortunately, those are order only. So we are not getting one. But yesterday, as I was finishing up the road glide sale, kid comes in, he's like, I want the Lowrider ST. So he put a deposit down and we ordered it from him last night. So we will have that here. Nice. Um, yeah, so the only way you're getting one nowadays is you call the dealer, you place an order, you leave a deposit, and it comes in for you. And that's why it's the Little Rider ST? Only the Little Rider ST. Well, why, why is that? Not sure. Not sure. Um, we were kind of shocked with it as well. We were even shocked that this launched yesterday, the day before yesterday, showed up yesterday. Here you guys got to And yeah. we got one of each. Because sometimes it takes a little longer to get here. Usually. I don't know why. Yeah. And so that was very shocking. Um, but the Little Rider ST was a little bit of a bummer, but we are excited that someone ordered it already. Pretty cool. Um, exciting stuff uh, coming from the company. And if you are in the local area, this is the only one left right now until they might receive another one or not. So this one, I mean, this one might be gone already. I was like, yeah, it might go today. Yeah, I, I, I know someone who called Sergio already and, yep. and they're already interested in the bike, so. He will be here tomorrow. I said, if you don't leave me a deposit over the phone, it might be gone, but, yeah. you know. So the, this this might be gone by today, tomorrow. Um, but yeah, if you guys are in the local area, check out Bergen. Got your Harley Davidson, ton of bikes on the floor, a lot, a lot. Yes, we are fortunate. Come by, that's to serve you. Thank oh, you. Um, oh, demo day. Demo day, next demo week. Demo day. So, um, we are talking about March 12th, Friday, and um, March 13th, Saturday. Demo truck will be in the parking lot, full line of 2023s. Come on down, register, take test rides all day long, Friday and Saturday. Um, and then, let us know what you think. That's what we're here for. Any, any bikes that might not be on there, or do we know what's going to be on there yet? I do know what's on there. I can pull it up. Okay, okay cool. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll do a further post towards that. Yeah. But we got demo day next Friday and Saturday. Also, bike nights have started here once again. So uh, yeah. it's the beginning of an awesome year for Bergen as well. So the last Thursday of every month, guys, from here all the way up to October or September? Fourth Thursday, because some months have five. So it's okay. weird. So fourth Thursday of every month. Um, this one coming up, we have Hocus Mocus coming down. They are a barbecue food truck. Oh, sweet. We have a new band, Benders Galore. So if you're around, come on down.
I'll be here as well. Let's go.